we, we do, this ain't Laurel and Hardy. I thought it was a silent movie. It, no, this is Stan and Ollie based on Laurel and Hardy. Let's take a look at the trailer. Camera set. Okay, back projection. Cue music. And action. Hollywood legends Mr. Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy arrived in Britain today as they embarked on a national tour. We're doing this while we're waiting for this new picture to come together. I'm going to make sure that this tour gets off on the right foot. There it is, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's amazing that you two are still going strong, still using the same old material. Here they are. Such a wonderful reception, isn't it, Ida? It's okay. <laughs> Two double acts for the price of one. <laughs> Pretty empty last night. I guess people just don't want to see Laurel and Hardy anymore. Has he been pushing you a little too hard, babe? You know, Stan. You could have said goodbye, Oliver, a long time ago. We had a good thing going, but you had this big chip on your shoulder because I did a picture with someone else. I couldn't sleep for days when they told me what you did. You're just a lazy ass who got lucky because you met me. Lucky <laughs> to spend my life with a man who hides behind his typewriter? You betrayed me. Betrayed our friendship. You're hollow. They look so real, don't they? <laughs> you cannot go on stage again in your condition. I love you. But I won't stand by and watch this nutty tour put you in a wooden box. I should never have had us take this tour. I love him, Ida. Hmm. You're not leaving, are you, Stan? The show must go on. <laughs> when you watch our movies, it was just the two of us. All we had was each other. She <laughs> never regret Rian. And you shouldn't regret Rian either. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Stan Laurel and Mr. Oliver Hardy. I'll miss us when we're gone. So will you. It's like the Morecambe and Wise. There's a goodbye from him and there's a goodbye from you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, my only criticism, I think they're showing a bit too much of the trailer. That is pretty much the whole movie right there. Yeah. Um, is it not? Again, we seem to have seen this on a lot of trailers. They're just showing, I think they're just showing too much. I think they need to show all that. No, I'm sort of feeling, I'm feeling the original. I'm sort of seeing the original sort of Did you go sketches. to see them? I'd go to see them. They were on the telly. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Craigie, I'm not that old. I can't remember what decade they were. <sighs> oh, I don't know. Let oh, us know. I, I should have looked that I up. I know they were way before my it time. Looks 40s, but I would think it's maybe earlier. Yeah. Uh, obviously, following the real life, the untold story, mm. so to speak, Laurel and Hardy, that, that says they were the world's greatest double act. Were they not possibly... <laughs> were they not possibly... <laughs> I get that bit. I get that. Were they not possibly the first best comedy double act silent yeah. comedy silent actors. comedy as yeah, well that's when they had no uh, well, I must be going back to the okay. 20s or 30s potentially yeah could well be yeah they mm. were around with Charlie Chaplin weren't they the original yeah the original well yeah I was solo you know. he was the best back then weren't he yeah um, not that I ever saw him naturally yeah I can just remember them always every programme dropping pianos on top of each other falling down ladders and dropping paint on their heads <laughs> just I said during the trailer, so you're funny. right, and I said during the trailer, yeah. they look the part. I think Steve Coogan, brilliant choice, and also yeah. John C. Riley. This could be Oscar worthy. He's about yeah. the time he got an Oscar. I think he's a brilliant actor. He's done some great movies. Yeah, he looked more the part than, than Steve, to be honest, didn't he? He did. Um, Hopefully. Fingers crossed. This is coming mm. out right around that time, just before the Oscars hit on yeah. January the 11th. So... That's it. Yeah, supposedly a true story. So an untold story. Let us know what you think of Stan and Ollie, as always, in the comments below. Anything else we said in there, hit us up. We tend to answer all the all your questions. Don't yeah. forget, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and join us here at Hype Train. A big thank you for seeing this video with us today. We'll catch you real soon. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs>